really back hairbrush with the nerds. So I had some time to watch some movies lately. And, you know, with the theaters shutting down so quick, there were movies that were out in theaters during the time of the shutdown that were released video on demand where you could rent it. So I took some time and I watched a movie called I Still Believe. It stars um, K.J. Appa as Jeremy Camp and Britt Robertson as Melissa Lynn Henning Camp. And it is based on a true story. There are some changes they made. But basically these two, fall, they're kind of off and on and they fall for each other. And she is, um, she, they kind of, during their off time really, he, he uh, Jeremy, gets a phone call and says that, uh, you know, that she's really sick. So he goes to see her and finds out she has ovarian cancer. Now, they get engaged, and what happens is, prior to the wedding on the ocean, that was a favorite place, and also watching the stars, um, prior to all this, well, they get engaged, but prior to the wedding, he goes out and does his shows and performs, and asks people to pray for her. Goes back to the doctor, she's cancer free. No medical explanation whatsoever. So they go down, they have their wedding, while they're on their honeymoon, she gets sick. They get her to the hospital, the cancer's come back. So the whole point, and you know, she ends up passing. But the whole point of this movie is, you know, like, she said if her story changed one person, then what she went through is worth it. And that is some faith right there, because I don't think everybody would say that or feel that. But he has a good conversation with his dad at one point, and his dad tells him, you know, there have been disappointments, but I still have a, f f a full life. So really, it's about having faith in God, even whenever things are not going well things are really bad. You still have to have faith. And there was one point in the movie where KJ Appa is playing Jeremy Camp. He writes a song and he said there's questions that he has. And this movie kind of helped me answer a few questions I had about things in life. But this is a must watch. And the story's great and obviously sad. But it also in a way, will lift you. So I think it's something that you really have to watch for yourself. You can listen to my review, of course, but you need to watch it, I think. So I read it on demand. Very good Christian movie. And we need more movies like this, honestly. More things that are going to be faith-based. And I'm comfortable talking about this because, you know, we all fall short. And I think that... Uh, there's always things we could be doing better. But I think sometimes we put God to the back burner and we need to bring God to the forefront. I love the the, the um, cast, by the way, for this movie. Very good movie. And it is worth a watch. And, you know, there are moments in the movie where things are starting to look a little bit positive. But they do, they do try to look on the brighter side of things, but it can be really hard at times. And... At the end of the film, by the way, he meets a woman who says, you know, she was the one changed by the story. And then I found out later those two got married in real life. So that was pretty cool. But I have to give this a positive review. Thumbs up on it. So yeah, check it out.